Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over the Industrialist update, which is actually really big. I think it's one of the biggest updates so far. And we're going to be going over, I finally, after AFKing for a bit, I was able to unlock Sandbox. Sandbox is a really good feature that we're going to be go going over. Um, it's actually the first thing we're going to be going over real quick. I'm going to create a new world. I'm going to call this, call this, we're going to make it Sandbox. Can I choose a name? Ah, there we go. We're going to call this Sandbox. I'm going to join it real quick. Now, if I'm going to go over the list right now, they added, uh, they added an entirely new oil refining tree. That's interesting. Oil fracking, coal liquefaction, sulfur production, sulfuric acid, rubber production, and tire rims and tires can now be produced. That's those. I don't know how much those are worth. They may be a new meta, although I still believe that gold is the best. They added sandbox mode, unlocked via Game Pass by placing down an HV pull. I placed down an HV pull. It takes 300,000 RP to, uh, uh, to research and 2.5 million to place. Uh, the Game Pass Sandbox Plus unlocks Sandbox, and it also uh, unlocks every single kind of um, in-game developer item and variant. Added Recipe UIs shows a recipe a machine can do, which we're going to go over, and added icons. And we're going to go over, so you can see here, this recipe book. First, we see how much coal sells for and what it could be used for. Then we can click any of these, like copper powder, how much it sells for, how you make copper powder. You put copper powder into a grinder. What is this copper mix? Ooh, liquid copper. Oh, uh, you can already get that. Liquid copper, copper mix. And you can get, it's just saying what it's used for, liquid copper. Uh, iron ingot. Oh, you can put iron ingots. You can put ingots back into. Oh, wait, that's... Wait a second. Wait a second. Does one... No, I believe they figured out a way to stop you from infinitely making... Yeah, see? Yep, they... Yep. I was gonna say, wait, can you just make infinite amount of copper? But no, because one of these gets 1.8 of, of this. But you need two of these to get one of these. So you can't infinitely do it. Then, let's see. Press that insulated wire that's cool rubber okay new rubber heavy oil and naf nap nafta nafta residue plus rubber chemical reaction filtration plant ooh wait rubber for more rubber that's very interesting i mean residue for more re infinite residue that is, if you're trying to get pollution 100, then I, I suppose... Oh, that's how they decided to do it. So if I just spam these, do I have less of them now? I do have, okay. That's so sent. There's technically, I think, I don't even think... Yeah, because each of these are one model, so I don't even think you can go over... You can't even use all these. Okay, but that's really cool. And none, none of the this doesn't cost any amount. Oil fracking tower. This thing, this thing is big. Tip input for sand, input for sulfuric acid or acetic acid. No leaderboards. Oh, you don't get you get any badges or leaderboards in this, right? Input for steam. Input for water. Okay, what do you get? <clears throat> Long pipe. Output for... What does it say? It just says dot dot dot. I'm actually gonna take a screenshot of that. And I'm going to put that in a bug report real quick. I'm gonna make a bug report with that. And... Hold on a second. Oil fracker doesn't show output. Self-explanatory. Checking it out. ASAP fixed. Not a bug. I don't think it's technically a bug. 
I'm gonna just, I'm gonna add it. Yep, bug, bug report made. Sorry, devs, but you're gonna have to get on that. <laughs> Alright, ow. Uh, where's the other big one? Look at these cool things. Sand excavator. I'm pretty sure they added this too. What is this? Oh, yep. The Fort Tech electricity box. It's on the back, right? Where's the power? Does it need power? Obviously, it needs power. Oh, it's right there. Okay. And then, okay. And then output sand. 24 units. That's a strange. Oh, wait. I actually want to see. How does this run? How does this run? Does it just produce it? Oh, it doesn't have enough money. I mean, it doesn't have enough power. There we go. Does it start turning? How much does it need? Jeez, it's eating it up. Oh, that's actually really cool. And produces four. Oh, I think I think it does have sand. Yeah, it does. It does keep the sand in them. Ah, okay. Okay, I see. I see. Then they added. Oh, look at that! Look at that! I think we're gonna need. Industrial, I'm pretty sure that's already added. What is this thing? Advanced oil separate. This thing is huge. Look at that. Output for crude oil, heavy oil, fracking oil, light oil. So nice valve there. Input for steam. Oh, that's an input, not an output. Okay, what? Let's see. Where's the outputs on this? Is there a thing on top? Oh yeah, this is this is a uh, Seve's. This is Seve's little. Yeah, I th I think he got inspiration from murder drones. From this, let's see. Outputs for light oil, heavy oil. Wait, wait. So could I put? Could I make? Could I just take the heavy oil and just put it in back into the machine? Residue out. Okay, infinite residue. Output for coke, oh, coke fuel. Output for hydrogen, uh, was that sulfide? Yeah, sulfide. Okay, these are really big. Is there a bigger one? Industrial oil refiner. Yeah, this is definitely absolute incorporated. They, Seve likes this kind of, ooh, this is nice. Oh! Okay, I actually, I actually know what he based this off of. I actually know what this is based off. I'm not going to say, but it was earlier, like back in November, there were some other things in development. How much power does this need? Yeah, he kind of, he kind of like, he kind of took like Fort texting and made the uh, thing on top. But his is a lot more should I say modern? I mean, it's based off a of murder drone, so of course it's a bit more modern or whatever. Output for residue. Outputs to refine diesel. Input for machine oil. Oh, yeah. Okay. See, so input diesel here. Machine oil uh, makes machines run faster. Gonna remove these. What else did they add? What else did they add? They added long pipe. Oh, long pipe. It's it's just a long pipe. I think th I don't think it's fluid. I think it's only. Oh no, they have a, they have a long fluid pipe too. Yeah, it's it's just a long pipe. Cost five hundred dollars. Cost five hundred dollars for this, and a regular fuel pipe costs fifty dollars. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, you're better off just using these. Unless you got the money to spend, but you're better off just using them. Uh, let's see. Chemical reactor. 
Okay, coal liquefaction plant, chemical reactor. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Seve likes... Seve really... Oh, okay, he really likes outputs for rubber. For Okay, this is another bug. I'm going to screenshot that and add it. Bug, same problem. And what about this one? Same thing. Okay, outputs for residue, sulfuric acid, gasoline, E10. Okay, and then... Yeah. Okay. That Those dot 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 are not very helpful at all. Input for dot dot dot. Oh my god, it's going to be... Yep. Yep, all the inputs on this thing are probably... Okay, no, actually, that, that one's fine. I'm currently just spamming images in my bug report. Oops. Sulfuric acid input. Input for heavy oil, water, or ethanol. Input for naphtha, sulfur, trioxide, or gasoline. Yeah, this is Seve's. This is another one of Seve's models. As I said, he goes for, you know... Where's the Absolute Solver logo on this? Ah, uh, here it is. The Absolute Incorporated. My bad, my bad. Personally, I'd put a bit more copper. I mean, it's his, it's his model. I'm just, I'm just saying. Like, when I think of... Um, when I think of etching on boards... Because these, these, these are etchings. So, basically, they... Uh, if you were to touch it, you get shocked. That's what they are. Uh, it's it's just metal etchings into a board. Search up etching board or circuit board, and that's exactly what it is. It's just waves for the electricity to travel. <clears throat> it's a bit interesting how he made it. It does fit his style. So, this thing. This thing is huge. What is this? Input for steam. The hotter, the faster the machine. Okay, so 400 max. Input for coal. Input for crude oil. Actually, not four hundred isn't max. Four hundred is the easiest to obtain, but technically, people have gone have gone a lot more. Output for heavy oil. Output for light oil. Okay, that the other machine we had before also had it. So, is there multiple ways for for making heavy and light oil? Okay, I'm gonna climb this. This is cool. Yeah, his things are a lot more sci-fi, if I can say that. Oh, does this? Oh, please tell me it produces smoke. I, I'm not. I'm not building anything at the moment. Maybe I'll do that later. But I honestly don't feel like. Oh, industrial sawmill. This was input for oak log, half cut oak log, or chunk plank, or chunk plank. Yeah, input for steam. Okay, steam to make it run faster. I'm guessing. Then it puts the wood in here, and then it cuts it. That's cool. And then it's going to input. Uh, this is Fort Tech. It's going to output more cut version of wood all the way up to planks. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Very cool machine. I love uh, Steampunk's... I love Steampunk's design. I really... It's definitely animated. I know him. I'm guessing this is, like, the pressure or the steam... It's being used. Okay, so I see, I see. The power, you take the steam, and the steam, kind of like a pneumatic device, pushes these two things forward. This is the cage. These bars are just cages. Then it pushes each of them forward. And then, as you as you know, pushes the log forward, and it gets dispensed into here, goes into this curtain, and then it comes out here. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, What else? What else was there added? Industrial firebox. Industrial firebox. Let's see. Input for water, liquid sulfur, each requiring a specific energy amount to burn. You know, just just fill it all the way. Input for liquid li for water, liquid sulfur. Okay. Output for water or burnt things. Hmm. Another interesting. This is an interesting thing. I don't exactly know what you'd use this for. Okay. Input for solid foods. Each has a specific energy content. Okay, okay, so this is saying, like, water would probably need less coke fuel, while sulfuric liquid sulfur would probably need more um, coke fuel. 
Is that what it's called? Is that, is that what it's Coke fuel? Fuel Coke? No, something like that. Maybe it's actually just secretly cocaine. I don't know. Uh, it outputs for water or burnt things. So is it just making steam? Does this just make steam? Is that the point? Hmm. Oh, it probably it probably is. It's probably it's probably just it is it is called Firebox. So it's probably just a better steam producer. You could probably use it for other things, but Firebox is probably its main reason. Okay, here we go. We already went over the oil fracking. Sand excavator. So excavator has already existed. Here we have okay, we have these things. Okay. Now I know I know each of these are made by steampunk, I'm pretty sure. Why can't I place it there? Oh, the thing on the top. <clears throat> Power rate calculator. And then a transformer. Transformer. I think transformer. Okay, so the power rate calculator is made by Mammy Tima. It kind of looks like a mix of... Okay, and then the, the transformer is made by Save. But the HV... But the HV pole and the HV battery... This is the battery. Are both made by Steampunk. So let me fly here real quick. Actually, let me... That's another cool thing they added. They added, um... Free cam, which is really cool. Let's see this here. What was this? Input for water machine oil to boost efficiency. <clears throat> this is a transformer. I actually don't know. Do you need to use a transformer? You might. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. So this is... So these are two different energy types. So one giga mammy floppa. And one... Wait. Is there different... Is there different power types? Power node. Oh wait, it's a power node. Okay, because it be. Oh okay, because this is a power rate calculator. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's go over here. What's this lever for? Oh, after turn, power not flowing. Power flowing. <clears throat> I don't like how they didn't animate the switch. I could definitely animate. Okay, so I'm gonna show you machine real quick. Where is it? The moldy. The moldy machine. Moldy? So what it's called? Ah, here it is. Plastic molder. So, I tech... So, I made the animations for this machine. Mammy team, I had to program it because my programming skills are very bad. However, my animation... Like, look at look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look how, look how cool that is. Look how cool that is. Now, technically, this isn't... It's not supposed to turn until after you, um... You know... So after you pull it, that's that's just a scripting bit. That's probably my fault. However, look, you it, it this is actually animated. I don't I don't understand why they didn't animate this. I don't know, I'm probably gonna make a complaint about that and then just do it myself. Cause I'm cause I'm like that. Oh no, these are pretty cool machines. I'm I'm looking at this heat heat warning. Power node output inputs, right? Because it's a battery. It's a very interesting design by Steampunk. I actually love it. I'm guessing, I'm guessing these are cooling systems, although obviously it probably pumps the water itself instead of having to put it in. But this is how, how much? How much is it? Ten giga mammy floppers? It's a whoa. Okay. It's a what would that be? Like a Terra Mammy Flumpa? What is that? A thousand? No, that's that's way more. Okay, and they need each of these. Kind of looks like a Christmas tree. 50 Mega Mammy Flumpas. Okay, not... not. I mean, for, for a tower, it's a lot. How far can these can this thing go? That's my question. How far... How far can this go? Is there a limit? Could I connect these two? Does it not connect? Or run over there? Which one did I click? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just click either. Okay. Too far. Okay, so that's too far. What if we put one in the middle? Oh, 
Okay. Wait, what's the flow on these? 120. Okay, that's not bad. Too far? What's the range on this? How far can this go? I'll put this right here. Let's see, can they, can this connect? Okay, that can connect. Okay, that's pretty far. Let, let's see. Wait, that's actually really far. So, if you don't know, if you grab a regular, where's a regular, where is it? Where's the power? Where's power? Uh, here we go. These can go. So, like, for example, you need to go that same distance. You need four of them. You need four. Oh, that's cool. I could, I could, I could do that. I can't see my cursor. However, okay, my cursor's right there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just remove all of this. Oh yeah, that's everything. Uh, well, what else did they add? What haven't I? Industrial roller was that? Added today. Let me check. Let me check the change log. Let me actually check the change log real quick here. Sand excavator, long pipe, rusty intersections. Cheaper ones, but bigger and slower. I actually didn't see that. Where is that? Is that tier two? Tier one, perhaps? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Rusty pipe intersection. Uh, these look, I mean, it just, the design looks a bit weird. Oh, this is, this is funky. Ooh. Okay, and, uh, ooh, ooh. Okay, this one makes sense. I can understand this. On, I, had to, I had to think logistically about this. Okay. I don't... I don't think it makes sense how they... Like, at least... At least with... When, when I when I place this down, right? Or when I, when I place... The fluid one. When you compare it to the fluid one here. At least you can kind of imagine of how they separate. Like, one goes over the other, and one goes under. Here, they just kind of combine. And I don't understand how they would be separate in this case. Because you definitely know that they're not going over each other, because they're going... You could see it here. Whereas, with this one, you can't exactly tell. I mean, it's probably implied. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's interesting. This one, this one I can... I can understand. How much does that cost again? This is five thousand. Then for the same one, two hundred fifty. So it actually is okay. That is useful. I'll give him that. That is that is pretty cool of them. Uh, let's see. What else? Is there anything else? Changes, fixes, buffed RS2. Oh yeah, RS2 is a lot better. Like, a lot better. Blast furnace now outputs the proper amount. Geothermal nerf to support only two boilers at max. Man, that is... Mm, that is sad. Uh, recipes we went over. High voltage we went over. Industrial sawmill. Industrial firebox. Okay, can burn multiple solid fuels, which gives it different amounts of heat. Pollution varies depending on fuel. Can support up to four boilers. 300 C water output. Industrial firebox might actually be better. It might... No, wait. Gas burner is still better. Uh, industrial sawmill cuts faster than a regular sawmill and two times at once but requires steam. Because pneumatics... Added rusty intersection. Okay, add long pipes. Just looks better and better on the FPS. Okay, that okay, that makes sense. So, so if you're struggling with models, the longer pipe I could see working. But uh, money-wise, it is not. Um, what else do we have here?
FreeCam for content creation tools. If you guys don't know, FreeCam is actually my suggestion. Because, I mean, come on. I need this. Look at this. You can't tell me this wouldn't be useful. You see? Look at this. Look at that. Look how far away I am. You can change the FOV. Oh! I can. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, I'm moving out. Look at that. You see? Do you see how I'm in the middle? Oh, wait. What the? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, that makes sense. We get the cat down here. Hello, cat. Maxwell. Uh, I believe they also move. Okay, so they also. I forget which direction. I think it was that direction. Is the castle here? The other cat. Oh yeah, it is. The spinning cats over here. They moved it a bit, but there used to be. I think it was. Over there, they used to have, like, an island of all the models. But I think they removed it since now we have uh, free cam, which is kind of, you know. Let's see here. Teleport to lobby. Toggle difficulty notice. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, okay, that's, yeah, because that is annoying. You currency... Ooh, I don't like that. Cast shadows. Oh, that's okay. That 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 might actually be useful. Teleport to lobby. People have been asking for that. You can change the notice size by itself. Oh, there's little icons here to tell you what it is. Hate machine sounds. Turn them off. Adjust the volume of the premium music. That's true. Dislike ASMR. Turn it off. Disables disabling improves performance. Very useful. Enlarge UI for improved clarity. Enlarge UI for improved clarity. Enlarge, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Maybe you'll enjoy this notation. I certainly do not, but thanks. Then teleport to lobby. <clears throat> yeah, this is very useful. This will actually allow me to do a lot of, a lot better uh, tutorials now, because I won't be suffering, because I could do infinite uh, tutorials because now I have access to everything but yeah that's just the update for uh, today I hope you all enjoy this update I certainly do the devs put in a lot of work and I think I think they deserve a thank you uh, Mammy Tima, Chaos, Seve, Steampunk, Maxters, Maxters especially with his amazing music amazing musical developer this is a really, really good update. I thank you. I hope everyone who is watching has an amazing day. Bye.